I'm starting a recording so I can give Facebook their version. Do I sound and look okay? Um, yes. Hello. 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 Facebook. Hi, Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Hi, Facebook. Forgot what camera I have turned on here. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is just a preview of episode 371, which we are going to do on Sunday. I'm excited. But since I had a, a, at least a clue as to what we were going to do, I thought, well, we'll come on here and preview it a little bit. Pump it up, so to speak. There you go. Drive oh, some audience. Yeah. So that reminds me, though, let me uh, go get um, get this thing distributed a little bit. Tell everyone you know. Oh, yeah, I got to do that, too. Let me see if I can make that happen. That'll be the one thing that won't be on this PC. <laughs> I'm not seeing the live thing myself yet. Uh, let's see if I can remember my password. Ta -da! Did it take? Yeah, it appears to have. have oh, took. yeah, we're there. Uh, maybe. Are you there, Facebook? Tell us from the group, Facebook. Are you there? I saw a heart. Oh, I, I see the problem. I, I have, I have something pinned, and so it's coming up on top. Oh, got it. Got so it. Got I will it. Unpin that. And pin this. Oh yeah, I see us. There's even five people watching. Yeah, five, I, five of our I, favorite listeners. I gave I gave a pre preview preview. Got it. So let's see. Share. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to share it too. Share to my page, which has got like hundreds of hands. I have six. And share to the Ham Radio Now Facebook page. So I was um, trying to come up with. Uh, oh, Marty just popped in. Okay. Oh, Marty wants to know if I was up and running and streaming it. Not yet, Marty, but soon. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's uh, I think that's good. Um, I was well here. I was setting this up. Good old Ham Radio Now TV page. And I've got homework for everybody. So what the deal is, is that uh, we're going to do a show on Sunday about this ARL Board of Directors Code of Conduct. That's not the official name. The official you name is name yet? too long for me to remember. <laughs> right. But you have a name for the show yet? Oh, yes. I, I And I think I stuck been, it on Facebook. I've been thinking about it. Yeah. And well, we can change it. We can change it. Yeah. But it doesn't the, really matter. The current name that I'm thinking of is, um, can I remember what it is? <laughs> I may, might not be able to remember. Um, where never is heard. Okay. There you go. Where never is heard. And Cindy approved of that, but gave me a coda to it. Uh -huh. And the bands are all open all day. Excellent. That was better than mine, which was like the code of silence. Uh, oh, but, the code, the code of silence, the cone of silence. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was I was a play on that. You know, I'm working that's on this. A, that's this, pretty good too. Cone I'm of silence. I'm working on this. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. So you got um, Wirecast getting close. I got there. yeah. So I've been working on. I've been working on. I got I got the new PC. I have two PCIe cards. They're both addressed. I've got. One, two, three, four, the monitor behind me, up and running. I've got uh, three video cameras working. Plus, I also got um, this other PC that's there that's off um, set up with the, um, wait, let's see, where we go? There we go. With the uh, sharing thing you talked about. Um, so I could actually add a third camera on that PC and I downloaded the software that allow you to share on the local network at high speed um, content from that machine as well. So that gets me my five machines and three cameras. <laughs> You're doing good. Oh, well, I've got and a partridge uh, in a pear tree. Yeah, I've got, um, come on. There you go. go. Yep. And by the way, it does wish we can't hear it, but 
when it yes. go, goes out to everybody in the world, it, it does wish. You and, know, when I uh, played with that the first couple of times you sent it to me, I didn't get it either until I recorded myself locally and then played it back and you can hear the wish. Yeah. And uh, here we go. Where never is heard. Woohoo. All right. You got it all set up. 71. I think you got to put the coda in there. Preview. Well, where? Where? Oh, this is this is the preview. Well, yeah. you could do like a little line underneath, like right, right below. Yeah, I can't figure that out. Okay. Down there. So, so um smaller type. <laughs> yeah. So I've got um I got some homework for you folks out there. We'll go to the Ham Radio Now website. We will click to enter. And when we click to enter, you've got the option, of course, of clicking on the pig. Oops, where's the Yeah, that's the homework we give them all the there time. There we go. This Click is the different pig. homework, yeah. right? Right. Uh, this is a different homework. Uh, it is um, right down here. Um, there's some things you can look at. Oh, the, okay. The uh, the code of uh, conduct was um, created by the board of directors. It was approved at their January meeting. And then at the Vesalia DX conference in April, well, the code of contact basically goes, directors, do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do not do not speak ill of anything, whether you well, feel ill of it or not. Right. It's it's either that or they just say yeah. yes board, whatever. You must you must approve of everything that we do. Right. And and express your approval whether you actually do approve or not. Right. <clears throat> so we'll go into it in detail on uh, on Sunday and uh we're still getting a lineup of guests, but so far it's going to be uh, Rich Moseson, W2VU, the editor of CQ, and Dan Romanchik, uh, KB6NU, who has a very popular blog. Yep. And um, us. And us. And maybe Sterling Silver, who's flying coffee. from North Stirling. Coffee. Stir, Sterling Coffee. He's not Stirling, Sterling Silver. <laughs> Let me turn off now Facebook Live. Sure. <laughs> yeah, now he's not coming for sure. Yeah. Um, and there's one, there's one more I'm still waiting back to your friend. So he's a sterling silver coffee set. Yes, there you go. Uh, oh, there's one more that you have solicited? Yeah, I, I have not heard back <clears throat> from, yeah. from the, uh, the other one I was on. We have asked several directors. Um, all have declined. Mm -hmm. We have asked ARL president and CEO yet to hear back. They may show up. That'll be interesting. Uh, so the thing about it is that code of conduct, as, as I was uh, saying, um, perhaps more jocularly than I really intended, it is, it is um, nearly a gag order on at least the way I look at it. And I, you know, I'm welcome for anybody else to come up with a different opinion, but we'll go over it. That's part of your homework is to take a look at it and, and see uh, what you think. Um, and then we'll talk to these guys about it. Uh, but uh, as my reading is that, that once something has been approved by the board of directors, any director has to be in favor of it, at, at least express that they are in favor of it and apparently not talk ill about it at all. I'm not even sure they can discuss it. It looks like maybe they can, but I'm not even sure they can. And, and what happened with the Southwestern division director, the director for your area, yeah. Uh, Dick Norton uh, in 6AA, he spoke about it at the Vesalia DX convention last right. April. Um, there's no recording. There's no verbatim transcript. I haven't even seen a, a paraphrase of what he said. Have you come across anybody who um, did, did any more than, than just kind of gen it, generally... It, 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 yeah, there was those couple of threads that we that we read from from a couple of the hams that I know and the one that I'm still waiting to hear back from. Okay. Uh, which was all paraphrased. It wasn't yeah. anything more than that. Yeah. Um, the So somebody complained to the board of directors and said he was somebody who knew about this, because almost nobody knew about this code of conduct, right. even though it was out last uh, January. Um, somebody who knew about it complained to the board of directors and said, uh, you know, Dick's talking smack about about this. Yeah. And it was about the code of conduct that, right. specifically that he was talking about. And, and it's interesting because from what I read, and, and we'll go into this a little bit more, I didn't think all he did was present it. It was the other folks in the room that um, talked smack. Yeah, there and there are some people disagreeing with that interpretation of what happened, but I don't know if they were there. So yes. There were a lot of people. There was a ARL forum at uh, 
I guess at uh, at Visalia. So um, anyway, we will uh, we'll dig into it um, on Sunday. Not now. Yes, we will. Yep. Not now. But I but Six I have this clock Pacific nine p.m. Eastern Eastern twenty twenty two hundred. Is that what I, what it is? Yeah, twenty oh oh two no, oh oh two hundred oh two early Zulu, yes. um, and technically, or just in real in reality, that is Monday morning Zulu time. So Zulu time, right? If you're living yeah, over on the, on the British Isles, you are getting up early in the morning for this. Yeah, we call that stupid o'clock. <laughs> yeah, sorry, this is sort of American based, and you know it's it's the a, it is a ARL thing, so it's you know it's just they can they can watch it. You know, I think recorded, the, I think, not real time. I think that they're enjoying politics from America in general. Yeah. And um, this will be just our little corner of that world. Right, just a little sliver. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, so here's your homework. Um, I have uh, made a um, PDF of it. The the code, it, it's not real long. Uh, I guess I can take a look. I think it's... Um, yeah. Yeah, six pages long. Um, there's the official name. The ARL Policy on Board Governance and Conduct of Members of the Board of Directors and Vice Directors. I should have rehearsed saying that. Okay, kind of, That's a mile though. <clears throat> kind of screwed it up. So it's not real long. And about <clears throat> maybe a third of it is germane to what we're talking about. And so I'm not complaining about everything but I mm -hmm. am definitely complaining about the stuff that I've highlighted. So I'm giving you a, a version that I have highlighted. And for those of you that are doing the video, you can see that. And uh, so, you know, it's just um, peppered throughout the document, stuff about that the board has to step in line. Um so you can go take a look at that. If you would prefer the unadulterated version, I've got the link to that as well. Uh, there's the web story um, about how the league has censured Dick Norton. There's Dan Romanchik's uh, blog post. And uh, of course, it's on QRZ.com in a very yep. long thread, like 28 uh, pages long and counting at this point. On the QR, so, I hadn't seen the QRZ. On, yeah. um, on Dan's blog post, there's a, a really long um, commentary thread as well. And there's some yeah. good comments in there from folks I know. Yeah. And that, and, that and were Dan, in the room. Yeah. Dan's blog has, has got some of the, um, some of the eyewitness yep. representation to it. So I, I would definitely go look at that. So Dan will yeah. be with us. Um, and, uh, um, Rich Moseson and mm -hmm. Sterling Silver. Yes. I, I've concatenated Sterling <laughs> Sterling Coffee and Ward Silver into one person. And of course That's they're both in the St. Louis area. So Yeah. Yeah. We asked a bunch of other people, um, not directors, but uh this turns out to be a fairly hot potato topic. Yeah. And a lot of people don't feel comfortable going on television and talking about it. Right. And I get it. You've enjoyed your period of being an EC, haven't you? <laughs> I yeah, I was good while it lasted. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it'll. As you said, I don't think it's going to quite fall down that far. But you never know. No. Um, <clears throat> it, it depends on whose undies get in too much of a bunch. But but yep. you've been. Yep. You've been. Um, you, you haven't let your ARL appointment guide your commentary here. You know, when I first signed up to work with you, and and I knew what your show was about, <laughs> I knew that one day. <laughs> We might we might step across that line. Oh, it went black. We might step across that line, and um, someone would come and and have words with me. But it hasn't happened yet. Okay, I'm looking to see. And I'm going to ask them when that happens. I'm going to ask them, can we go live and will you be on the record? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Camera went off. I'm not sure why. Camera yeah. went, went dark back there. That's where the black came from. Oh, got it. Got it. I thought I thought um, someone had reached out and killed the feed. Okay, well let me uh let me fix that. Dun, dun, dun. Wait, you're tied to the microphone. No. Okay, we're going to go play by play now. <laughs> Gary goes to the camera. He's looking. He's checking. And that's one of the fancy expensive ones too. Yeah. Uh, what I'm thinking of is the uh it's unplugged and it just ran out of battery. Right. Or one of the cats chewed through the cable. 
also a possibility. <laughs> and and Gary also dressed up for the evening. Oh yeah, I can tell. <laughs> it's the it's the news anchor thing, you know. You you wear a suit, coat on top, and then shorts. Hopefully shorts on the and, bottom. Yes, exactly. I know what I, At least shorts. Uh oh. This is this is going to be hopelessly now, tangled up. So we went from fixing the camera to chair wrestling. Let's see. Is there anybody still in the Facebook room? Is this comments? Oh, television. we're up. We're up to eleven, Gary. So you're you're performing live. <laughs> it's going to be. It's it's going to be too hard to uh, find the cord because, as usual, you know this 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 is a fascinating story. Um, television studios that I built in the past, um, it was always a fight to get room behind the consoles. One in particular to get room behind the consoles to work. <clears throat> um, I, I went to work with at one here in uh, Raleigh and it was already built and, you know, I, when I went to work there and the console was pushed up against the wall and then all the wiring was behind it. And there were a couple of little trapdoors here and there, but there wasn't access to every place. So in order to get to some things, you had to pull a lot of stuff out of the racks. Yep. So that place moved. I designed the rebuild and I argued for space behind the console. There's plenty of room. And, the, and it was a red-faced argument with the boss who did not want to leave a couple of feet of space behind that console. Yeah, you're losing, yeah. You're losing valuable, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so what I did was I disabled something. But before we moved, you know, all this was still in the design stage. So before we moved, I disabled something and said, um, Fix it. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get to it. <laughs> couldn't get to it. He said, you got, you got your foot. I said, I right. need two feet. He said, you got a foot. You got a foot. A good thing I didn't gain a lot of weight. There you go. But you just got to get a small child. That's what <laughs> I do here sometimes. You get a small child to go in there. Yeah. Unfortunately, the children are almost as big as I am now, so it doesn't work as well. They're bigger. And isn't, I haven't trained isn't, the, the Isn't cats. one of them bigger? Two, two of them are bigger, <laughs> but we don't talk about that. Well... Um, height, not weight, but I'm working on that part too. <laughs> You're going down. I am going down. Okay. So we've given folks their, uh, given folks their good. homework. Yep. Some good comments yeah. in the room here. So hamradionow.tv is the place to go. Click Arvin or not, but get your homework assignment. Um, yeah. what, are they, so what are they saying? We're talking about? Uh, let's see. So, uh, Betsy, Betsy's there. Betsy's always there. Hey, Betsy. Betsy's there. Thank you for joining You're us, You're awesome. Betsy. Uh, Dexter Muir so far, it sounds like, and uh, Dexter's in New Zealand, so it's his morning. Okay. Yep. So good morning, Dexter. Um, yeah, this, we're, we're his morning show. Uh, Brian Wingate. Uh, basically I think everybody's, um, looking at like this, like it's not the right thing. Yeah. Same, same thing on all the comments on QRZ. There's one or two people that are sort of half-heartedly trying to toss in their endorsement. Yeah. But you know, there, there was one comment that came from one of the responses you got that said, you know, look, this is a, a corporate thing and we got to do it from a corporate standpoint. And mm, I don't know. Yeah. Um, we're not, yeah, we're, we're doing the, we're yeah. doing the show. We don't want to do the show yet. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. Okay, so it is coming up this Sunday. Watch something happen to just kind of blow this out of the water. You know. Like the, oh no, De Dexter says it's two thirty three in the afternoon. Well, oh, good cool. afternoon. Yeah. Or do you say good day? Yeah, yeah. good day, Mike. No, that's Australian. I right, don't right, think right. that's New Zealand. Right. Yeah. Here's New Zealand. My precious. <laughs> well, that's yeah, my, not New Zealand, but that's where they shot it. Yeah, my only my only New Zealand story is Run Bunny Run, but that's for another show. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, so So is there anything else we need to tell them? <clears throat> I might I might actually have another link or two for you and we'll we'll go in there and Dress it up a little bit. Okay. I think I have you played with the uh, the Hammer you know, site yet? I believe I've given you access. I have access, and I went in there once, and I was afraid to mess it up, but I think <laughs> I can make it happen. Okay. Yeah, it is. It's kind of 
you're on the tightrope when you're working on it. Yeah, yeah. You you gave me access to the bank too thing. I'm not going to mess with that either. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Um Let's see. I, anything else we need to tell him? There's nothing we need to. Yeah. Anything else we want just, to tell? You know, sort of like feeling like you know, it's been a while. One of the when I did the pre, the pre pre show announcement, somebody said that they were you know getting withdrawal symptoms from ham radio. Yeah, now, so. yeah. We got to work on another show. I, I had a couple ideas I'm going to work on. Yeah. And I've got uh, some stuff left from the Tapper DCC, which of course is not us, right? But it is interesting stuff it's the um the uh, the saturday night banquet talk um yep. something about the thousand best hobbies and then um the sunday uh, deep dive seminar both pretty interesting things and so um i'll uh, be working on them i have never accomplished getting all of the dcc stuff out and online before mid january and sometimes february and Last year's trickled into March. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will have them done by, well, before Christmas. I expect to be to be completing them next week. So cool. Was, well, we'll have to figure out what our Christmas <clears throat> special is going to look like. <laughs> Never done one before. So we have to do it, but we have to, I, yeah, you go, go ahead. Um, but that does remind me. You had an idea? Well. Oh, he's going to play something. Yeah, not for a Christmas special, but... Uh, you all are familiar with um, a ham's night right. before Christmas. That was last year? That was the year before. Oh, no, that was 1996. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Okay, you, but you did a reboot or something. Right. So or Maybe you just, you maybe just uncovered it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is uh, is put on um, put on the website. Let's see, there's a the special edition, um, you, is, which is, is the, the high def. Is there a director's cut? Well, what there that is has Harrison Ford has Harrison Ford's voice removed from the um, the soundtrack above it. Sorry, that's a Blade Runner reference. Yeah, um, we, <laughs> don't think I ever watched that either. Oh, okay. Let's see. Can I make that go away there? Um, so there's the um, the old low definition version, right? suggest stuff i put that up full screen meters not That's a signal really was keying down. up any repeaters the antennas reached up from the tower quite high to catch the no weak way. signals that bounced from the sky the children technicians took their hts to bed and dreamed of the day they'd be extras instead yeah so that's the low definition I version i plugged in the key. so that's it. sort of the original video yep when the meter was and um by a signal did and you then, redo the whole thing? Well, yeah, I, 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 you know, I basically well, I took the same audio track and then uh -huh. put together the uh, oh, high gotcha. def version. Nineteen ninety six. Well, nineteen ninety six was when, when I wrote it. Oh, uh, okay, got it. Was it. the night before Christmas, and so this is ten eighty p. You know, it's time to do four K version. Up any repeaters. I don't have any four K stuff. The antennas reached up from the tower quite high to catch the. Signals that bounced from the sky. The children, technicians, took their HTs to bed and dreamed of the day they'd be extras instead. Mom put on her headphones, I plugged in the key, and we tuned 40 meters for that rare ZK3. When the meter oh, was the pegged by a signal with power, it button. smoked a small diode, and I swear shook the tower. Mom yanked off her phones, and with all she could muster, logged a spot of that signal on the DX packet. Okay, cluster. so then I um, ran to the window and peered up at the sky to see what could generate RF that high. I can control things here. Um, I also did a uh, version last year, two years ago. Yeah, it was last year or um, two years ago. I remember. That I did live, sort of live. -ish. That was it. Had been last year because I was already <clears throat> part, but didn't make it to that part. Okay, so um, I think. That was the, a very, isn't it down the down down a little bit? I think it was okay, a very. Yeah, there you go. Oh, when was that? Ho ho ho, everybody! Ham Radio Now, episode two hundred eighty-three. A ham's night before Christmas. The live live. Edition. I wrote a ham's night before Christmas twenty years ago. 
1996. The first two lines had been floating through my head that to uh, on CD to all of us. <laughs> I rambled for a long time before I actually Christmas got this person to do it. Go with it. Yep. So I nothing wrong with that. Asked permission from uh, apparently uh, I do have two Santa hats. I thought I only had sure. one, but there's one on my head here, and there's a, so I one over on uh, the, on the, the roaming gnome. gnome. Something reasonable to do with uh, with Christmas and oh, it's way down I was here. Way way short. I have for you. So you get the whole story and give you a live version of a ham's night before Christmas. So there is the director's cut. Yeah. <laughs> it was the night before Christmas, and all through two meters. Not a signal was keying up any repeaters. The antennas reached up from the tower quite high to catch those weak signals that bounced from the sky. I'll give you a director's the cut on the director's cut. I did not do this in one take. Dreamed of the day yeah. they'd be extras instead. How many did it take? Mom put on her three. headphones. Three. I plugged in three. the key with a couple of awkward edits to make them more that rare ZK3. Yeah. When the meter was pegged by a signal with well, that's power. What's nice about being the director. Diode, I yeah. swear, shook the tower. Because if you direct. weren't, it Mom could have been like a hundred. Yeah. She could muster okay, one more time. I spotted that signal in the <laughs> exactly. DX packet cluster. <laughs> well, I ran to the window and Yeah, you giggle a little bit there. You got to get the giggle out. RF that high. It was way in the distance. Oh, man, have I been in sessions like that? A flying slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Defined my element. career. And a little old driver who looked kind of mean, so I thought for a moment that it might be Wayne Green. But no, it was Santa. The Santa of Hams. On, on a mission, mission this Christmas, Christmas to clean up the bands. He circled the tower, then stopped, then stopped in his track, and he slid, slid down, down the coax right, right into the shack. shack. While mom and I hid behind stacks of CQ, this Santa of Hamming. One year, I actually do. took the time to he memorize that. Shack desk of paper uh -huh. and parts and so I was tired of having a whole paper in front of me at club meetings and stuff. He ran right. copper braid, took a steel rod, and, and pounded, pounded it into the earth until the station was grounded. He tightened loose fittings, resoldered connections, cranked down modulation, installed lightning connection, neutralized tubes, protection. Linear amp. Never worked right before. Now works like a champ. A new low-pass filter cleaned up the TV. He corrected the settings in my TNC. He repaired the computer that wouldn't compute, and he backed up the hard drive and got it to boot. And he reached really deep on the bag and that the he, bag brought. he brought. He brought, and he pulled, he pulled out, out a big box. box. A, new a new rig, rig I, I thought. A new Ken Ken and an Icom, a Yesu for, for me, an, an Alacraft Tentex. I added that line after maybe ten years, years because now there were more yes, than the just Kenwood Yesu Icoms. Right. All those weekends of work, public service. He set, he set it all up, and in record time, quickly worked 100 countries, all down, down on 160. I should have been happy. It was my call, he said. But the cards and the postage will cost a month's rent. He made final adjustments and left a card by the key. To Gary, from Santa Claus, 73. Then he grabbed his HT. Somebody on uh, punched a Eham or QRZ hand. back when this was just a text thing oh, and people were stealing it without giving me credit. Back so to it had this to Gary from Santa Claus and somebody said, oh, that Gary must be a really lucky guy. Oh, too mm -hmm. late. That Gary. For his final kid. That oh, Gary. Was yeah. copied all over. It was hurt. He everywhere. is a lucky guy. The ham Santa exclaimed what an old ham expects. Merry Christmas to all and to all. Good DX. And Merry Christmas from my love. Oh, look at this. Merry Christmas, Aww. everybody. And Merry Christmas from me, too. I'm Katie4ACW. And I'm KN4AQ. Over. And out. Oh, you trained her so great. She's good. So did she did She sit there for the whole 11 minutes? No. Plus no, all the edits? No, that was part of, part of the edit. The, that was the part of the edit. You yeah. brought her in at the last minute. Oh. Awesome, awesome. I, I forgot. There was, well, there was a little bit there at more? the end. There's a, well, there's a little bit at the end. Is there a little, is there a little holiday kiss? I don't think it was a kiss. Let's see what there was. Over. And out. This might have been the beginning of uh, sticking things in after the close. At the end. Which now we always do. Should have gotten you that Santa hat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. Yep. All right. If we do that, I bet I have two or three little hams that might join us in the background at the end for that. Oh, that would be cool. Maybe. Yeah. And actually... So I'm going to see a friend of mine who's a, uh, I don't want to say she's a professional singer, but as close as I can get. And we're going to get um, Incompatible recorded. I remember that. We're going to do Incompatible, that. that's what you are. And it's going to be accompanied by my littlest one who is now 
W zero R uh, no W zero L R G uh, on the ukulele. Wow! Yay! A full set of harmonics. Yes, absolutely. Well or at done. least Four strings worth. Well, no, I'm, I'm, your your kids. Oh, we are, they are. Yes, yeah. yes, we are. All all licensed up. They all yeah. There's only one one left in the house that doesn't have her license, and I don't think she's going to go there. That's your wife. No. Oh no, my mom. Oh, your your wife is licensed. Yes, she is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, K K K six O D J. Never used the radio, but she's licensed. <laughs> yeah, Cindy stopped using the radio years ago. The kids, the kids. Oh, I just pulled something. The You're kids. Um. Oh, it's back. The kids. Um. They're they're all. In fact, Lila checked in on the Aries net last week, and Gwen did too. So they're radioactive. They are. And now they're all fighting about who gets to go to Baker in Vegas and who doesn't. <laughs> well, good. Come up with some, you know, incentive thing. No, I have to figure out if, if they all go, I have to figure out how to rent a bigger truck. <laughs> that would be worthwhile. I, have, I, I don't know. Uh, I won't because I, I don't have room to carry them and all the stuff I have to bring. Yeah. But it'd be but worth, we'll it'd it be worth renting a bigger truck. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Get them, well, get you know, I've had, there. I've had, I've had two. Actually, I had actually one year I had, did I have my dad? My dad and two of the kids came one year. So maybe we can make it work. We'll see. Yeah. So I, I was reminded of something when I was talking about the, uh, that Gary is a lucky guy. We need to say who we are a little bit more. Um, so Ooh. for example, um, there's are you. you. Oh, I'm David Goldenberg, W0DHG. Yeah, we didn't do an intro tonight. No, and I'm Gary Pierce, KN4AQ. But the reason we need to do that more and more and more is because when people write about the show on QRZ or other places where they're making mm -hmm. comments about it, it's QRZ mostly, um, Facebook. When Facebook guys, they know who we are. Yep. But on QR said it's those guys, that guy, that guy talking, mm -hmm, they don't mm -hmm. know who we are. Yeah. This is I not. I wore my this, name tag. Yeah, this. Um, where is it? Oh, you know, I think you, it's on my truck. You're currently W0D Diet Coke. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. Now, now, now my head's in the way. There he yep. goes. And, and, somebody, oh. and somebody mentioned that um, I had had the, uh, the ham radio now mug rotated next to. Arvin back behind me so that it said no. Yep. And they were saying, oh, so you mean no Arvin? So I turned it oh. a little bit so that it's kind of generic. Yeah, so now it's, yeah. Maybe it's just oh Arvin. Oh Arvin. Yeah. Go Arvin. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So it, you guys, that. Us guys. That's no, David. And that's Th Gary. Yeah. And we are the hosts of the program. You may you, you call got, us by name. You got name tag, right? Some it's in the car. Yeah. In yeah, mine is two. So so if I do this and oh. I get my name tag out of my truck and yeah. put it here. That's, uh, that's yeah. that's what this thing is for. There you go. So Yep. Yeah. Uh it, it's you know, it's amusing. It's moderately amusing when when and on Reddit and stuff, they just say that, you know, that guy, that guy Those that talks guys. too much. <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know what? At least they're listening, I guess, or uh, watching or both. I, yeah. And then uh, I guess that's true. Mm -hmm. so. I was surprised because I got the ARL newsletter today and, and based on our weekend topic, they're still talking about censure and I'm not sure how long they want to keep pushing on that. Well, I, I, they do that once a month. So I, maybe it wasn't in last month because it, it appeared... In um, on the website, yes. well, the the vote to censure Dick was sometime early November. No, I get it, I get it, and yeah. I don't want to do the show before the show. But is that really the thing you put in your newsletter? Well, <laughs> there's some transparency <laughs> for you. <laughs> yes, I, well, I guess that's I mean, true. If, if we had heard that it happened and they tried to hush it up, well, that would be even yes. worse. So, yeah, kudos, right. okay. kudos, okay. league for. Letting us know for, for, for helping us sell some more, some more, some more views. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I, and I get to go, uh, when is it? Is Thursday tomorrow, Saturday morning, get Aries meeting. So I'm going to, that should be interesting. I'm going to slide a slide in to say, come listen to us. Ah, Cause you're running the show. Oh uh, no, 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 but I'll, but you get, I'll, you get a piece. I, I get a front, I get a front row seat. I, yeah. I get to have my, my EC's 
you know, if I have a comment from the EC. And maybe one, two, at least possibly two of the guys that are making comments along these threads, and I'm not going to name names, will be at that meeting. So it may even come up. Who knows? Sneak a recorder in. Oh, I can do talk, that. Talk into my lapel here. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I just have to disconnect one of these cameras and bring a laptop. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do an interview. No, no, they said no interviews. <clears throat> I know they did. <laughs> Time to change their mind. Yeah, <clears throat> no, I, I, yeah. We, well, it might, this may come up in the show, but there's reasons why they don't want to. Yeah, everybody they already, had, everybody they had already got, let's just put it this, they already got somebody in trouble for something that somebody else didn't do. <laughs> yeah. They don't want to get it any worse. Yeah, okay. Wink, wink, we'll take, nudge, nudge. We'll take the heat. I, um, in my checkered career, mm -hmm. uh, went out on location for America's Most Wanted. Oh, okay. Two, three, four times. And um, I was the, uh, back in the day, and TV um, news professionals will remember this, back before we had camcorders, and the company I was working with did not have a camcorder. It was a camera with a separate recorder. Um, the VHS stuff became camcorders pretty fast. The professional stuff took a little while longer. At that mm -hmm. point, camcorders existed. We had no particular need at the company I worked for, but that meant that the cameraman would be really laden by carrying the recorder. And, and a big fluffy microphone. Yeah. Well, yeah. so I got to do the, the, the big fluffy microphone part, um, uh -huh. the dead cat microphone, right. <laughs> and carry the box. We called it the bozo box because the guy carrying it was the bozo. Right. And you were tethered to the cameraman by a you know, six or eight foot cord, so you couldn't get too far away. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if I wasn't paying attention, that's when the cameraman decided to start running. <laughs> and you know, I'd be pulled, whipped around. He'd be pulled Look, over backwards. Look, the new story's over here. Yeah. <clears throat> so we did that for um, America's Most Wanted a few times, and we did it for Inside Edition a few times. And uh, I actually got my voice on the show on Inside Edition once, um, which is not the story I was going to tell, but it's a story interrupting the story I was going to tell, and I'll get back to that in a minute. So uh, we were interviewing a doctor in Durham, Durham, uh -huh. North Carolina, the former home of carcinogenic, uh, carcinogenic, carcinogenic tobacco, mm -hmm. uh, is now the city of medicine because they made so many people sick. They might as well build a lot of hospitals and make some money off the other end of it. Profit um, on one side, profit on the other. Yep. So we, uh, we were interviewing a doctor. That doctor was, um, <clears throat> hmm, he invented something called the rice diet might remember that. I don't think the rice diet's a thing anymore, but it was a thing back in the 90s. So we eat rice? Uh, pretty much, yeah, and lose weight. Um, so he was working with Duke Just University. Carbs, and, which turn into sugar, which isn't really a diet. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, <Sorry. laughs> that's... I, I didn't become an expert on it. I just knew that was yeah, what, yeah. what a, We wanted to talk to him because there was some scandal going on. Uh -huh. And uh, he wouldn't talk to us. We were outside of his house, staking it out, and... A neighbor came out who was, uh, don't know if she worked with him, I guess, because she seemed to know him. So we interviewed uh -huh. her, and, and the details are slowly coming back to me. Um, she, um, <clears throat> the scandal was something about the way he treated some of the women, and this is really germane to what's going on these days in the news, uh, some of the women in, in the, uh, in the program and, uh, with corporal punishment. Mm -hmm. And so, um, we were asking her about this corporal punishment and the, the, one of the women apparently got spanked or something with a, with a small whip. And so I was asking this woman, I think my comment, which was not supposed to be on television. I was supposed to be one of those behind the scenes producers and we would just get, her comment that they would use and the anchors mm -hmm. would talk about it. So yeah, I wasn't the star of inside edition. Um, and so she made some comment about it and I said, isn't that kind of unusual for a mainstream medical practice? And her response was, she bought her own VIP. 
I may have, I may have made that too hard to understand with my German, phony German accent. Mm. Mm-hmm. She brought her own whip. So it was mm-hmm. okay that they did the corporal punishment because... Because it was her, was woman, it, or her, brought her the, toys yeah. or what have you. Yeah. yeah. So, so I got a note back from the uh, producer when we sent them the tapes and she said, congratulations, you made it on the show. <laughs> so I told you that story in preparation to tell you this story. So that, that, that was, yeah, that was exactly. for Inside Edition. So, so now for, um, <laughs> for one we did for, uh, uh, America's Most Wanted, um, we went to a jail where someone was, uh, oh, and this, and, and I remember how I got there, because this is going back to you going to the Aries meeting with a surreptitious recorder. Mm-hmm. We, we went to the jail, and we were going to talk to a perp. They paraded him in front of us for the camera doing the perp walk. The, mm-hmm. the police guys are often very accommodating to programs like America's Most Wanted. They like, sure, they like yeah. shows like that. Mm-hmm. So they, they made him do a perp walk for us, and then uh, they let us interview him, although he really didn't want to be interviewed. So the cameraman slung the camera just kind of nonchalantly over his shoulder and gave me a little bit of an elbow, and I started rolling the recorder and held the mic down here. And so we got our interview um, with the guy, without him really knowing that he was being interviewed. That you were being interviewed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they used it. You know, I'm not sure how uh, legitimate how legal, it was. How yeah. legal it was. Yeah. But I there mean, was he, no, was there no red light on the front of the camera? I think, no, we definitely, we turned those off. We, yeah. turn, we turned every indication that something is going on when we're doing something right, like that. Right. We don't right, want, right, right. want that catching anybody's attention. So, um, so yeah. So you could, you know, it, there's precedent and we didn't get sued. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, I'm not going there with these guys. I will. I will actually. Uh, who who said it in the chat room? Chat room's all blown up. Uh, Michael said we should just do blackout sil- silhouettes and voice modulators. So I'll talk to those guys about that. <clears throat> See, I could totally do that here. I could put up the. Uh, actually, have some extra um, of that uh, fabric to soften the lights. If I put that up and put the person behind it and put the light behind them, it would be the perfect thing. I don't think. And, uh, yeah, you don't you don't hear the the voice stuff that I'm doing now, but the folks on Facebook do. Oh, do they? Are you are you scrambling the voice? I'm scrambling my voice. I can't oh, scramble no, your no. voice, but I'm. I, okay, I could you, but I could voice. I could scramble their voice. I could put them on a <laughs> on a, one of my CCC handhelds and put that in. Um, there's some mode that does the funny scrambling. Yeah, we've well, we got to totally make this work. We've, we've got, got a local, local disc jockey. jockey. Uh, well, actually, they're doing. Uh, they're doing a, just a podcast these days. They were fired from all the radio stations. And they'll do this voice, and the guy will be playing Satan. Oh, those two guys on the card table? Uh, yeah, 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 those yeah, guys. Okay. Yeah, so be, the one guy will be interviewing the other guy, and the other guy is Satan, and I have this voice on, which he won't hear until you play this back. So I play this back later on. Okay. Say, I'm Satan. <laughs> yeah. And Satan, of course, is a very bad dude. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, how else can we entertain our audience? You see, they're, I, I, they're blowing up there. <laughs> I yeah, well, no, you know, it's um, it's it's all of our friends that are uh, other regulars. Yeah. No, no, actually, actually, mostly it's um. Is Marty still there? It's awesome. no, you know, Marty didn't say anything. I think I think Marty's um, Marty has bowed out of anything related to this topic. Oh yes. And I, yeah, he's, and, so he's probably okay. run fast from this. Yeah, it's okay. I get it. You know, he he's got a long he he unlike me, or maybe <laughs> I won't say anything about you, has a long and healthy career in amateur radio <laughs> still to go ahead of yeah. him. But might so, not. Might as well not lob grenades at bridges that are far ahead of you. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And I and I was never really afraid of like shining the light on the goofy stuff. It's all good. Oh, somebody's texting me. Maybe my kid saying, feed us, daddy, before you have to go to your meeting. That might be Not a good a, idea. Yeah, that's all good. So I think I think we've covered it enough to whet the appetites. and um, Tried not to a, do the whole show here. Well, I think we've barely scratched the surface. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. I hope. I hope. And uh, read your homework, please. Yes, uh, right over here. <clears throat> if I can find it again. At... Um, Ham radio now dot TV. When you get to this thing, I really should change this someday, but you got to click to enter. 
Yeah. And there you are. Viewer homework for our show coming up Sunday, December 3rd, this Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, 0200 Zulu Monday morning. Facebook Live. I put a little asterisk here on the Facebook mm-hmm. Live thing. Um, I think... I think that you can get to this without being, um, even having a Facebook account, much less being a member of, um, uh, of the, the group that we have. So, but what I have to lead you to is the ham radio now page, not, not the group. And then it should come up here someplace. But that means right. I have to forward it there. Let's see. I I can um, you can you can you can link. So when the video is done recording, I think if you right click on it, you can get the link, and that will give you the link to the actual video. And then you could post that on the page, and they don't have to. That's what you're saying. I'm, they don't have to Facebook. Um. Well, we want people people to be able to look at it live. I'm going to do a Facebook.com show video URL slash ham radio now. Yeah. So in this um, incognito, it won't know who I am. <clears throat> so if I were, yeah, and it's it's going to bug the hell out of you. Log in, yeah, I want create you to. account. But There's an um, X on the side there, isn't it? Hey, no, if it's on the bottom, you can't make oh. it go away. But if, oh. if you, not now. It's, Mark Zuckerberg is just a He's jerk. Watching. He's watching. Okay, so, so there it is live. There we are. Yep. And... Once you get going on that, um, then uh, it'll work. The, yeah, the thing goes away. the 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 join or login or whatever goes away. Yep. So yeah. when I did, oh, you know what? I got to do the. Let me do the incognito. Um, in private, in private browsing. Uh, let me see. Face and go. I was able. So once that once that. Oh wait, I've got. I've got. Uh, we just crossed the streams and they, <laughs> it's going to blow up. So once the video is done, Gary, if you go to the video and right click, it'll show you the URL and you copy that. That'll take you right to the video. Yeah, but I want people to be able to do this live, to be able to oh, God, watch God, us God, live. God. So you, you go to the facebook.com slash ham radio. Now that is not where we originate the video. We're doing it in our little private group. Right, 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 right. And the, the reason I do it there is um, that's where people can make comments and respond. The, Original ham radio now page doesn't let you right there uh, interact very much. Did you get my uh, Skype message? Um, I can't get Skype messages when I've got you full screen. There's a little. There's a little. Um, the little. Um, is, it, is a way to do that on the top top right? The little balloon. Click on the little balloon. Oh, the little balloon. Okay. Hang on. The, you know, the show, wah, 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 wah. show people what I'm doing. Yeah. Well, there's a little knocks you right yeah. out of full screen. That's okay. But then you can see the video that I pasted in there. That was just on our live video right now. I did the right click and copy the link. And I think if you click on that link, you put that link in the browser that you have, I think it'll launch us even live now. So we could end up with um, the loop and, and, um, create a problem oh, with there, the, there the material in the universe. Yeah, if you click that, I think it will play from the beginning, I think. Uh, even while we're still recording? I think so. Mm, nope, I don't think so. I think no. it, it catches, double, double, yeah. Double click, does it, uh, let's see. Yeah, I put it over here and it's it's popping up, I think, where we currently are, I think. Uh-huh. The material in the universe. I can't get Skype messages. Oh yeah, it's doing it's doing it. It's doing it where we yeah. are right now. Yeah, because oh, uh, it it doesn't uh, archive everything until uh, until, until we're all it's done. all done. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Oh well. Now I need to put you back full screen. Full screen, and so we can say good night, and we'll, and we'll tell him I'm David Goldenberg W zero D H. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I'm. There we go. There, David Goldenberg W zero with the slash D H G. Yeah, Sorry and you know that and, slash. Um, I had to change. Well, yeah, I can't. Change fonts for I that. can't. I can't do that for the people that are ordinary parts of the program that I'm live titling. Right. Um, because you have to go in the special character <clears throat> set. Yeah, but I did you it on. You do? I can. I did it when I made this title. I made it over in uh, 
uh, Premiere Pro, uh-huh. and everything down there, everything uh, in the title is um, just Arial Bold, right, except right, for right. the zero. Because uh-huh. Arial Bold doesn't have a... Sl- uh, they've a got slash. the circle slash thing, but it's it's, it's not a zero. It's a, um, I don't know, it's a... Nordic whatever that Greek, whatever that Greek character yeah. is, or what? Yeah, yeah. So this is another font. It's called Consolas, uh-huh. C O N S O L A S, I think, and right. that is the only font that I have found that has the slash. So if you take, in. if you take that and copy it, and then make another PNG that has this is where I keep my slash, and save that in your. Um, in your Wirecast folder with all the other ones, when you need to go edit somebody else's, you could open it up and copy that one and paste it in theirs without having to go find it. Um, Maybe. Well, oh, to find the zero? Yeah, well, to have the zero like ready in, in, in like a, in like a uh, you know, on a scratch pad somewhere. Yeah, except that um, in Wirecast, everything in that line has to be the same font. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. got it. Because of the way so they you had do to do it. that. So you had to do that whole line in that other font. I, uh, well, when I I, I did it in oh, um, did, oh, no, I did, did it in, in Premiere uh, Pro. Right, 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 when right, I, right, right. When I do it in Wirecast, then it's fine. Uh, so I got it. Like that. Title. Um, Never is her. So let's see the episode title. And the bands are not cloudy all day. Here we go. Oh, looking at the wrong thing. Um, let's see, episode name. So there's where it actually happens. Yep. Yep, yep. And I can't isolate one word and change the font. Ah, uh, right, right, right. The font, I've been playing with that a little bit. The text is selected up there, and then the font is selected down here. Uh, right, and, right, right. I mean, I could I could do two All lines. That, and that over, doesn't make and, sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Consolus yeah, so. is not a very good-looking font. Right. Just for that yeah. zero, it looks good, <laughs> yeah. though. Yep. But everything else about it is kind of funky. And they're, and they're just true-type fonts, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and Consolus or Consolus is a... Um, Windows font. It's, it it. Comes, comes with Windows. I didn't have to go find it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, so meanwhile, you are this guy. That's me. I'm David Goldenberg, W0DHG. Yeah, so for those of you that want to make comments about us on QRZ.com, you can call him David. You can call me Gary, not those guys. Yes, not us guys. And I'm not Dave. Dave's my evil twin. <laughs> Wait a minute. Seriously. You, Seriously. The guy with the goatee is right there. And we all know the guy with the goatee is the evil twin. Yeah, okay, that's true. But I'm, yeah. <laughs> no, you should see me without the goatee. That, uh, that's my evil twin. Okay, yeah, that will be the evil we twin. We might do that someday, but it's going to be a while. I am this guy. I've had a beard in the past. Yeah, well, I haven't seen that. Um, Been a while. Hang on. Let me. Gary's going looking for pictures. Oh, Lila found the unforgettable on the ukulele. She's working on that? Yep. That's Nat King Cole, right? Yeah. Incompatible. That's what you are. I think I've frozen my windows or my uh, Chrome. Uh, Dun, dun, dun. You know, I went and upgraded to all Firefox all the time because of the conversation we had the other day. And actually, I'm... I'm happy, except for there's some pages that I go look at that are just not, they're incompatible. <laughs> That's what they are. Incompatible like loads, with? It, lo- it loads like half, what was the page that I looked at before that I was trying to look at? It loaded, oh, Evite. It was, it was an Evite because we're having a party. And um, and sorry you didn't make the invite list, but um, I was trying to go and look and see what was in there, and uh, it wouldn't load the RSVP part. It only loaded the top part. I could swear I had a bearded picture of me here in Facebook because it came up just the other day. Yeah, that Mark Zucker guy. Zuckerberg guy. What's this? 
Look, here's all the pictures I've stuck on Facebook forever. Okay. This is Cindy cooking uh, Thanksgiving dinner. This yep. is Cindy heading to Charlotte. Yep, I saw that one. Cindy eating. <laughs> Cindy eating more. Sitting in the dog. Sitting on the beach. So Cindy shoved in the trunk. This is one I think I sent to you. Mm, maybe not. No. I sent uh, you one of these that was about Boy Scouts. Yeah, I think I saw the Boy Scout one. That one doesn't look familiar. Uh, the cat, another cat, some more cats. You guys getting married. That's nice. Cats, Cindy, chocolate. Let's see, skiing. Cats. Could be pretty old. There yeah. you go. Oh, yeah, I saw that one before. With <laughs> my mugshot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Driver's license picture from uh, 19, probably about 91. All right. So I was a little thinner. Yep. Wearing contact lenses that I almost never wear. Yep. Had uh, considerably more hair on the top of my head, but you can see it's, you know, it's starting to go. Um, and, uh, you know, I think looking pretty darn cute. No comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. It's a, it's a good picture. I, you know, I, I, um, yeah, I look back on those old pictures and I think the same thing. Like what happened to that guy? It didn't look, look pretty good back then before. We're, we're both. Same thing. If no. you go through my Facebook pictures, <clears throat> it's the same thing that the older you go back, the there's BC, which in our house means before children. <laughs> and there is no, there is no gray hair on my head. <laughs> There's no gray hair on my head. There's, yeah, there's spots yeah. where there's no hair at all, but there's no gray. Yeah. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, I'm 68 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no gray on, on my um, whatsoever before children. <clears throat> and my wife, well, yeah, we won't talk about her hair then. Anyhow, it's all good. Didn't give CBS anything to do a takedown on me on this episode. Woohoo! We could try. Yeah, I could go find something. Yeah, I know. I'm I proud of should. We Still, should probably wrap it up because the girls will show up in the garage shortly. And yeah, this say, is supposed to be like a little 10-minute preview. but Yeah, and I asked when we started, I was like, are we really going to do 45 minutes on the pre-roll? <laughs> I said no, didn't I? And and let's see, it's uh, 40, 57 minutes later, but that's all good. It's been fun. Hey, uh, a show that lasts less than an hour is a short ham radio now. That's right. So we should save it now and we could call it a short ham radio now. And um, I'm going to go off to my other meeting. Okay, so we will <clears throat> say goodbye to everybody. And in post production, I will do that. I got to figure out a way to do this in the in real production. Though. Which part? Where the ARVN thing comes floating in. Can you just click the? Can you just run that thing, or does it go away when it's done? Um, I had that I, working at my not in Wirecast, but in OBS, I had it working. I'd have to prepare it a little farther because it, it comes in and then um, there's a point where I make an edit that takes the uh, background out. Oh, so that it, then it. just sits over black. Otherwise, it would sit over whatever it started over. So you just Plus, have to have another, another scene that doesn't have a camera and just has that. Switch to that scene. Um, well, it will be a very, very carefully timed switch because there's only about three frames where oh, got it's, got it. it's um, fully dissolved in and still covering the entire frame. Okay. So we're working on it. Yeah. It's not easy to do live. I could try something else. I suppose mm -hmm. I could do something else. We'll do it live. Right. All right. Um, we're done. Thank you, David. We are. Oh, thank you, Gary. <laughs> you can start with the over. I'll do the out. Do you want to do the lower thirds first? Didn't we? Because they don't been, know who we are. Haven't we been doing about doing that for about <laughs> twenty minutes? So I'm uh, David Goldenberg, W zero DHG. I am Gary Pierce, KN four AQ. Over and out. Seven three. And we got to give them the best part of the show now. It's an yeah. obligation. They expect it. I'm not doing it tonight. We're not doing it tonight. Next time on, on Sunday night, we will do, you know, what we'll do is in Sunday night where the show will be 15 minutes and then we'll over out and then we'll go another two hours and that will be the best part of the show. Sounds good. By the way, this part is not on Facebook because I turned that off. Because you turned it off? Okay. But those you're of still you just, recording it. You're still going to upload it, right? Yeah. Those of you just watching on YouTube or Facebook, if we, 
I don't think I'll put this up on Facebook as the edited version. Yeah, yeah that doesn't Because why? Um, That's a pain. Yeah. So yeah. just um, just YouTube is all that gets this. And the only editing I've got to do is that little close thing on the end. Okay. So I left the extra lights on. Is it better now? But I was thinking it looks pretty darn good. Okay. So I have the... I have the Marty cheap Marty studio really close. I moved it a little closer and then I forgot to turn the overheads off. So those are on too. So I got, yeah, what, let's see what it would look like with the overheads off. Okay. Hold on. I gotta, <coughs> I gotta do the run. Here comes. Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> okay. The overheads are off. Um, can you uh, tell? Almost can't tell. It changes the direction of where things shine on your forehead. And I could tell that your camera light, your camera settings are in automatic because when the light went off, the video level bounced and then yeah. kind of came back to straight. Okay. Fail. Oh, I'm sorry. So you could. So you can't really you can, tell. There's not really a, there's not really a hole. Well, it was actually better because it, now you've got a kind of a dispersed shine as opposed to one little. When relatively, well, that's, but, but that's why you, that's why you, I did this. So now I don't have like the two little shiny bars across <laughs> my head, right? It's you, have, just, you have one, one uh, kind of big blotchy one here across the, the middle. All right. So, so but, if you, but if you can grab if you can grab your your camera controls and turn that I'm down, that, uh, let me see what I can do here. Because you just kind of burned out. It's the the it's best the, part of the show is waking up with <laughs> folders in my cup. My girl still haven't found me yet. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, I'm turning off right light, auto gain. Everything is off now. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So I shut the gain down by about half. Yeah. Now I look pink, which is the way I'm supposed to look. Um, you could adjust your cue yeah. a little no, bit. No, no. I mean, this is, this is actually, sadly, this is really my color. <laughs> we can make you whatever color we want. Yes, we could. Yeah, so if I white balance up or down, yeah, that's not really right. All right, cool. So save this, and um, yeah, Sunday, 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 Sunday. Be there. Uh, yeah, we will. I will, and it'll be after. Um, yeah, as I said in the note to you, which originally when I said five fifteen, I wasn't meaning today. I was meaning then, but today was fine too. Um, I have a Boy Scout thing from two to five and I'll be home by about five fifteen, give or take. Yeah. And I don't wanna do I don't wanna do an hour before the show with Dan. No, we'll just go over some notes. We yeah, need to be right. adult. Yeah, yeah, no, show. it's totally it's totally good. I and I'm I'm on board with talking about it ahead of time, I agree. A little bit. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So Alrighty, I'm signing out. Okay, turning off the hard drive.